This channel is for adult toy collectors only. What does that mean for you? That means if you're under the age of 18, just like the WWE did in the early thousands, you get the F out. Yo, what is up, fellas? I'm your host, Transair38. Come back with some more G.I. Joe classified action. And it's time to introduce the Emperor of Destruction, the Lord of Cobra, Serpentor in the Air Chariot. But Serpentor, nevertheless. This is a uh, Hasbro Pulse exclusive, and uh, yeah, very, very hard to get a hold of it. Mom was in limbo for a while. I'm not sure why, but uh, can't have a little turner here because of the big box. This box is thick, uh, but uh, definitely it's similar to the G.I. Joe Classified Dr. Mindbender we reviewed, but he comes with a vehicle this time. Uh, this uh, Serpentor comes with his air chariot, which is freaking awesome. So anyway... Um, I'll, I will do the unboxing, but you get this nice little slip cover, which I'll sit off to the side. You open this up right here, just like the DNA thing off of uh, Dr. Mindbender, and voila, there is Serpentor in all of his glory. You get all of his accessories and his air chariots packaged inside, and uh, let's get him out of his cardboard prison and uh, cardboard slat in plastic prison. Man, this guy looks great. This good, uh, this packaging looks great. <laughs> I'm sitting on top of Abraham Lincoln's <laughs> mon monument. That's cool. But, uh, yeah. Just love the artwork right here. I'm going to say Cobra Island with the, the Terror Drome. Freaking awesome, dude. Freaking awesome. Serpentor is threatening Cobra Commander. Got Destro and, and uh, Baroness here with troops. And, uh, yeah, this looks really good. So, another less, he's number 57. Another, another less, let's get him out of his cardboard plastic prison and see what he's all about in the G.I. Joe classified series line, fellas. And, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. And cue that music intro. Yeah! Cobra! Did you just throw out a bunch of toy boxes and now have a giant gaping hole in your closet? Then head on over to ToyFiendCult.com and fill that hole with some badass t-shirts. Alrighty folks, here is the new G.I. Joe Classified Series, Serpentor in his Air Chariot. And uh, very freaking awesome figure right out of the box. So we got him out of his box of his plastic free packaging, which we already showed that off. Um, which is pretty cool. You got the nice artwork going on here with it. Looks really good. Looks really good indeed. Um, love that picture on the back. There, going on there with Serpentor. Freaking awesome. Serpentor, Talon Cobra Commander. How it is. The Destro and Baroness over there as well. So, yeah, very cool. Very cool indeed. If you want to take the slip cover off, you can actually see it much better. Take the slip cover off. There's a terror drone, which is freaking badass. Looking really good. This is a command! So, really uh, similar to uh, the Dr. Mindbender with the DNA Cobra logos. And, uh, yeah, got the Mars Industries right there. So not much going on with the packaging. You can throw it away, whatever you want to do. Uh, this is the packaging I will be keeping with mine. <laughs> so he's number 57 in the G.I. Joe Classified Series. For sure. So anyway, let's go ahead and get him for a spin here. <clears throat> anyway, here is the new G.I. Joe Classified Serpentor in all of his glory. He is your Emperor of Cobra. And uh, definitely... Damn, I tell you, the, the Joe team, Lenny, man, you guys did a great job. Uh, did a great job with this uh, figure. Definitely. But the, there's a couple grapes on it, but hey, it is what it is on it. But hey, you got to take take some uh, lean way, I guess. But anyway, here is the new G.I. Joe Classified Serpentor. I already got his alternate head already swapped out uh, from what he comes packaged with, which I'll show you with you here in a little bit. Uh, he does come with his nice little pat er, pattern cape here. Which they could have used a wire, a wired cape, but uh, 
I'm sure with a little bit of modification, you might be able to sliver, slide a wire up in there as well. But uh, all in all, here is Serpentor with his air chariot. Already got him pegged in. He looks really badass. <clears throat> you can take him out. I'm going to take him off his air chariot, which we already have him here. Definitely look really good. You guys, freaking machine guns. Well, chain guns on the side here, which you can actually take them off and he can wield them if you really want to. Um, but uh, you guys, wings back here. These do pop on due to due to uh, packaging, so everything looks good here without messing stuff around here. The turbine actually turns in here. I don't know if you can actually see it. Right here, if we can focus, focus camera. The turbine actually moves, which is actually pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So he does come with landing gear, which I just had folded back up. He does have a uh, little landing gear on the bottom here. Got a whole bunch of uh, tampographs on there. You got the, the Cobra logo with the crown there because he's the Lord, Lord and Emperor of Cobra. <coughs> Very cool. So caution gun reactor. Same right, right there. Get the snake head right here. You can actually retract this and leave it closed like that, like on the packaging. And then uh, you just gotta get 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 a pair of tweezers up in there and uh, pull pull the fangs back out. But uh, you also get that blast effect there. So if you get any blast effects, you can add to this as well. <clears throat> so, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Definitely badass figure. So anyway, we'll go ahead and take uh, Serpentor off of his air chariot here. We're gonna take him off his air chariot and uh, <clears throat> sit him off to the side. Take a little look at more of his air chariot without him standing there. Got this standing here. Got the gauges and stuff here. There's the peg holes where he gets pegged down to. Looks really good. Looks really good. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel cheap or anything. I just like this does they do pop off, so the guns do pop off. But uh yeah. Very cool. Now whenever you get the get these guys out of packaging, the chain chain pe chain uh ammo actually gets pegged in on both sides here that comes loose uh as well whenever you get this. So anyway, let's hit the air chariot off to the side take a look at the main figure itself Serpentor now here is Serpentor in all of his glory uh, going to peg his butt on a G.I. Joe stand here to keep him standing definitely here is Serpentor and uh, just to let you guys know the joints are a little stiff on these guys so put him in some put him in, in some water he'll be good to go um, but, uh, definitely an awesome figure. Good. Move my camera down. There he is. There is Serpentor in all of his glory. Now you do get the extra headpiece here, which you do get whenever you get him. You get that headpiece and then you also get, you get the headpiece. Yeah, that was it. Oh, and, uh, you get his, uh, his snake spike or whatever it's called that I uh, tried to kill Duke with. <laughs> you get that. It's a soft rubber. Uh, so you can get him to throw that if you want. So. And then you also get his da his hand dagger as well. His hand blades. Which these are extended versions of the ones that's folded up version. Slid up version. Compared to the ones you got here on his arm as well <clears throat> now for his on his arm you can actually just unpeg it and then you just peg it in peg it in on that slot right there so there you go very good now he got his blades it's freaking awesome now for the headpiece uh with the headpiece here we'll uh, show you here uh definitely this cape is really cool would have been nice to wire so you can actually try to keep it back here a little bit. But uh, the headpiece here, these are the, this is the other two pieces you get. You get this piece here, which you put on top so you can actually have his head rotate and everything. Um, a lot of folks ain't 
uh, happy with the head, what they did. But hey, it is what it is. And come to the back, you just unpeg, unpeg this section here in the back. It just comes unpegged. I see a little peg hole back here, like a backpack, close to the big backpack hole. Just bring this up, and uh, this will peg into his head all in, all in the once, and uh, now he can't move his head. But that head looks really good on Serpentor. Love the love the availability that you can do with uh, the heads, because you get these other two pieces with the the head headdress. It's pretty good. So you get those two pieces right there. So you can have Serpento on your shelf like that. But if you want to try to do some photography and stuff like him, like he's trying to talk to people, like look like he's looking at people, you change that headpiece out and uh, you'll be good to go. But all in all, get in there on Serpentor once again. He does come with his, his Cobra staff. Badass. Which I'll probably end up... Uh, really don't see... Him. I uh, really don't like him holding this as much as I, I just see him in his air chariot more than anything. Uh, give us to uh, Snake Supreme Cobra Commander. Get a little bit of red right there, like a little gem at the bottom there. So, you get that. Definitely articulation is really nice on this guy. Got the ab crunch going on as well. As I got the snake wrapping around his belt, which is cool. You got the tails and the snakes right here on top of his collar, just like on the show. Freaking awesome. Go ahead and peg him. And uh, he is all pinless joints as well, folks. So if you're wondering, he's pinless joints. Very cool figure. Indeed. So so the right arm on this one's a little stiffer than I, even going through water. Um, it's stiffer. But you can get rid of the cape. But love the texture. Love the texture of his uh, bodysuit that he has. His body armor, which is pretty awesome. Some boots. The swivel right here. Man, he's just just freaking awesome. But anyway, this headpiece is just bugging the crap out of me. Go ahead and put this piece up here. And then uh, just put that piece back on from the back. So there we go. So there is Serpentor in all of his glory. Super cool figure to add to your G.I. Joe classified collection definitely for sure um definitely it's like love love the what the joe team did especially with his arms look at his arms right there they're not paint they're not painted head snake heads but they're they're right there on his hands if you can see that over there too freaking awesome freaking awesome so yeah not much more i can say about this awesome figure Definitely an awesome uh, figure to add to your G.I. Joe Classified collection. Definitely Serpentor is a must-have. Hopefully everybody gets a hold of them. Um, I'm actually hoping hoping and praying everybody gets one because having an exclusive Hasbro... Come on, guys. As I, Having an exclusive uh, for Pulse is kind of ridiculous, uh, especially whenever some, some folks just, just want to try to have it retail, but hey, it is what it is. But anyway, without knocking him over again. So there is Serpentor. From the new G.I. Joe Classified Series. Definitely a cool figure. I highly recommend you guys and guys picking him up. Definitely with his air chariot. Um, definitely a really cool figure. So enough of me trying to make him fall over again. And it's like, he's probably saying, this I command, quit making me fall over. <laughs> so, till next time, I'm your host, 38 talking again. Don't forget to rate and subscribe, comment on any videos I do. Keep a look out, look out for any new videos headed your way. And also, don't, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Now I'll follow you back. All that good stuff. So, until next time, I'm your host, 38 talking again. I'm out of here later. And Serpentor says, this I command. Nevertheless, Serpentor is an awesome figure. Before I forget and let, uh, to go, we have two other accessories. Forgot about Serpentor's sword as well. For accessory wise. Totally forgot. Just misplaced it off to the side. And you get a rubberized Cobra. You get a Cobra snake right there, which is pretty cool. So you can have it 
I would sit right there or off to the side, whatever you want to do for your Serpentor. So he has a sword as well. Very nice indeed. So there's your other accessories. And I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome review. Sorry I forgot the, those two accessories, but hey, Serpentor is a much have much have figure, must have figure in the G.I. Joe Classified series. I hope everybody gets their chance to get a hold of one. So until next time, I'm your host Trans Aaron 38. Talking again. Don't forget to rate and subscribe, comment on any videos I do. Keep a lookout for any new videos heading your way. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll follow you back. All that good stuff. I know I already said this the first time, but hey, it is what it is. I just forgot to add those two little uh, tidbits to the what he came with. My bad, fellas. My bad. But again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? And plus, Serpentor probably probably take it out on my ass later on for forgetting them. So yeah. This he commands! Until next time, I'm Mr. Trans Aaron 38. I'm out of here. Later.